All right, so here's one. What is your most embarrassing moment in the sport? Oh, I got that's easy for me. Barry said left side tires at Darlington Southern 500. I'm the only one that went to the right side of the car and started <laughs> pulling lug nuts off. <laughs> started pulling lug nuts off. I'm like, why am I the only one over here? You know? Where about y'all? Oh, and a green flag stop too. The green flag so everybody in the stands was watching. Yeah. You know, and I popped them lug nuts, come back around, and believe it or not, I caught up with Jimmy Maycar when we went out because that's the fastest I ever changed a tire in my life. <laughs> now, what did Rusty have to say about that? Uh, it was with Tim Richmond. Okay. It was for Richmond. All they right, was well, kidding. They just joked joked around with me and said, okay. you know, said. Uh, and then the other embarrassing piece was when we won the championship. The last race is when my tire cut loose, uh, left yeah. rear tire came loose, and uh, we th- I thought I lost this championship. But a lot of people don't know that Barry made me change pit guns that morning. I used the same pit gun the whole season. He said, "Your gun don't sound right." I said, "It's fine." And he made me change guns, and I didn't know how hard to tighten that wheel. And it, it took a whole 100 and some laps to come loose before it did, but I still thought I'd cost us a championship. But, you know, that, that, that Southern 500, that was – I never did that again. I guess for me, it's working <clears throat> at juniors, of course. That's when most everything happened to me in my life when I worked there. But we at Talladega, and I went to change over to uh, race day stuff, which was – white pants and all this, you know. I grabbed a pair of pants and they weren't mine. Somehow mine didn't get back from the cleaners. So uh, Junior gave me a pair of his, told me to wear his. I put them on and the way Junior wore his pants and the way I wore my pants was a little bit different. (laughs) (laughs) So I put them on and they are tight. Oh, they tighten. I can't even put my radio in my back pocket. They're so tight. Well, jump over the wall, bent down with the jack. Split. First thing. And I'm still jacking. And I was in the buff. <laughs> Couldn't stop. Couldn't stop. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad I was down on pit road someplace so, else. Yeah. I run around the car, and I can feel that air just hit me. You know? I jack up the other side, four tires stop. I get back over to his brewer, his Mike Hill, Shorty Edwards, they are all just rolling on the ground. Well, here Junior says, here, we got to fix him. He starts taping my rip together. And from then on, every time I bent over the jacket race car, I could feel something back there pulled. I didn't think it needed to be back. <laughs> you fixed everything. With and the worst part the was when I tried to get, when we got to the truck after the race, and I had to take them off. Took three people to get them off from me. He doesn't <laughs> tape my butt, took my bitches, and everything else. And Valvoline uniforms the same way. They were so cheap. We'd yeah. all split them at the same time on one pit stop, yeah. and everybody tape up their crotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess on a trip to California, mm. when we went to jail in Mexico, mm. yeah. coming in there at that racetrack the next two, what, a day late? Day day day. Y'all was, yeah, y'all were in jail for three days, yeah. or two nights. Two nights and three days. Yeah. And that, that sounds like a, a vacation. Funny, huh? We didn't know. That sounds it. like a vacation. Yeah, it was, uh, Three days, two nights. Well, I've never been to Mexico. After Barry I, said, I'll never leave this country again. That I said, was well, the same that's way. enough for me. I, ne- I went on a cruise. That was it down to the – but I never left this – Japan. I went to Japan, you know, and I raced yeah, And then there, won the last race at yeah, Ontario. Yeah, we won it. We got there a day late, and that old DK always had on the back of his car. Remember, it was uh, <laughs> the Mech, Tijuana boys or something down. Yeah. But uh, – Mexican well, authority. Yeah, y'all, much, y'all was pretty much heroes though and stuff when you got <clears> to the <throat> track. Yeah, we 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 yeah. We, well, just, we was at MC Anna, even the Die Guard team. Well, to we get mean? that and then to win the race. Yeah, yeah. To get, you just get yeah, out we, of jail in we Mexico. We were scared to death. To tell you the truth, we come in there, Barry. He told me he was scared. I, you know, it took me. I was 36, 34 years old back then. It. I always said it took me 34 years to grow up, and that's when I grew up right then. When they hauled us down there and put us in that jail, because you can never be heard from again. Yeah, and I asked, you know, when's America? Did an American counselor come around here sometime? And I said, ah, he might be here tomorrow. It might that's be in the six 70s. Months. That's 50 years ago almost. Almost. You know?